The Toronto Raptors are moving on to the NBA Eastern Conference semifinals for the second time in team history. The Raptors do it. The Raptors take game seven. The Raptors beat the Indiana Pacers 89-84 in Toronto Sunday night. They won't have much time to celebrate, though. They tip off against the Miami Heat Tuesday night in Toronto. This is their first time that they have made it to round two of the playoffs since 2001. Blake Murphy is a basketball analyst and writer with Raptors Republic. He's joining us now from Toronto. Hi, Blake. Good to see you again. Thanks for having me on. It was looking like a close call last night, uh, <laughs> uh, but the Raptors pulled it off. What did you think of the game last night? It was great. It was it was kind of what you hope for from a game seven. You know, they were up big early um, and Indiana started to chip into that lead, but it really got the crowd into the game and the ACC crowd from the moment the anthem, the singer turned the mic to the crowd. Uh, they were fantastic the entire game and players on both sides after were talking about the impact that that had. Uh, and the Raptors getting out to a hot start helped because there was a little bit of anxious energy before the game. And, and then the Raptors played, you know, the best game they had played since probably game three of the series. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, they, they fought that adversity when the Pacers started to come back in the fourth quarter. And, and I think everyone was maybe biting their nails a little bit, but they hung on. And it was, a, it was a strong defensive performance. And they got it done even though, you know, Kyle Lowry wasn't shooting that well and DeMar DeRozan had to take a ton of shots. But they got the win. And after a game seven, that's all that matters is getting the win. Do you think with the first time in franchise history the Raptors have won a, a Game 7 series, do you think that this takes some pressure off the team? I've heard some commentators say that, and I think, well, how can that be? Because now they're facing Miami, which seems pressure-filled. I, I think it takes off a little bit of pressure for a brief moment. Um, the fact that two years in a row this team was out in the first round of the playoffs, mm. they don't have to answer those questions anymore. They don't have to hear about how there's 21 years of franchise history on them. They're now the team that set the franchise record for regular season wins. They're now the team that won a seven-game series for the first time. And, and they're not looking at it as what they do from here is gravy because they have bigger goals than to just win one playoff series. But in terms of you know reaching that next level in their growth as a core, they've done that now. They've checked a big one off the list and you know they turned their focus very quickly last night to Miami uh, but I think when they look back on it having won this uh, will be important no matter what happens in the Miami series. All right so what do the Raptors have to do to be successful in that series against Miami? That's a, that's a tough question. It's a long one. Uh, DeMar DeRozan had a, a rough series against the Indiana Pacers because Paul George is a, an all-world defender. Uh, Miami has a couple of really strong defenders, too. Lowell Deng's going to get that assignment. Justice Winslow, their rookie off the bench, is a phenomenal defender. So life doesn't get much easier for DeMar DeRozan. It maybe gets a little easier for Kyle Lowry, and the Raptors really need him to shoot better uh, in round two if they're going to have a chance against the Heat, especially since Hassan Whiteside's at the rim, preventing uh, a lot of the drives that the Raptors get their offense off of. Um, whether Lowry's elbow is still an issue, whether it's just a cold shooting streak, um, whatever's going into that, he's played well anyway, but they need him to shoot well as well because DeRozan's offense might not be there every night, and I'm not sure they'll have as much success as they did against Indiana if Lowry and DeRozan aren't on their games. All right, Blake Murphy with Raptors Republic in Toronto. Thank you. Thanks so much.